Good morning, good morning, good morning, you guys. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Real Talk with SLR. How are you guys doing today? I hope the audio is much better today than it was yesterday, because yesterday it wasn't working out. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened either. I just know that when I put the video back in and like I listened to it, it sounded, it sounded like the microphones that we were wearing were not synced up even though I had everything supposedly synced up. And it sounded like the camera itself was getting the audio from behind. No. So I'm not sure it was pretty bad though. So thanks for sticking with us through it. <laughs> don't know what happened, but it probably was a lot to do with um, the fact that mine wasn't really fully charged. It mm. was like on its last leg. I don't know what sense. that would do with mine though. Like could have thrown things out of whack i have no idea or i maybe didn't have it plugged in as tightly as i thought it was or something something, something dumb like that but something happened anywho hopefully we're loud and clear and good quality today we're trying to bring it to you nice it is yeah. an overcasty day today if you can't tell um, i'm super thankful for that yeah because yesterday was pretty brutal <laughs> it's supposed to get pretty warm today but it's uh also got a chance of rain today yeah so. which isn't supposed to happen until like four which is right around the kid time the kids get home usually anyway so that's about when we try to gear it down anyway so mm -hmm. hopefully it's good um today on the agenda friends we're gonna be shovel life reclaimed yet again um yep. and finish all that and i think today we might be able to work with old pops should be good yeah should be fun yeah. Should be pretty straightforward, I'm hoping. Now, I know we said that that's what we were going to do yesterday, uh, but during our live chat, we actually changed the plan uh, because yesterday, after we recorded Real Talk with SLR, we got down, we were ready to go and get it, and then uh, Not Todd showed up, and yep. we got our delivery. Yep. So we got all of our stuff here to continue this deck build area, which is why we're kind of sitting up here thinking and pondering and yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, it's becoming a beautiful, beautiful day. Birds are chirping, you know, <laughs> all the, all the fun stuff. It's not so hot. Yeah. We should be able to get quite a bit done today. Yeah. I'm hopeful. I'm very, very hopeful. Um, yeah. It's going to be a very, very busy day. Mm -hmm. A lot of mix in here and there the concrete that we have is uh it's gonna be it's gonna be a mix like we're gonna have to mix it i'm be mixing completely it up. like so we've got like the aggregate right or the the bond or whatever and we need to add sand and rock to it okay. to make it completely like concrete <sighs> It's going to be a, it's going to be a, a weird funky mixture but because we've mixed mortar i think we got it yeah i, I think, mean i think we'll we'll have it pretty good so it's just the bonding agent that we have basically okay because that concrete itself is it's just powder it's just a very fine powder where if I you're see. like you're putting concrete down and in right it's you see rocks in there. There's like peat oh, I've I've been, I've know my mud. certain other stuff <laughs> inside of there, right? So yeah, it, we're gonna have. Good to... thing is, is we do have a lot of sand and rocks lying around. Um, and I know what it should look like if it's just mm -hmm. the bonding agent. I'm sure you add enough. You add just enough water, just enough sand, just enough rock, and that stuff. And then yeah, it'll. If the you downside, just got that wet, it would just be a sludge. No, the it would down. Be like, yeah, it will just be a, a uh, sludge. A It'd be sludgy, hard sludgy. to even almost think like quicksand mm -hmm. or like it wouldn't. I, it would not cure the way that you want it to cure. Uh -uh. You know, it's uh, even though it says cement, right? It's Portland cement. It's just the the ash or like whatever the heck the chemical bonding <laughs> agent it is <laughs> that's inside of that powder. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So. We're gonna have to make it completely, but yep, it's not it's not our first time. It's not mm. our first rodeo nope. in that aspect. So, so with the rain like coming at like four ish, um, and with what we've got to get done today, I feel like if we can be shovel life reclaimed this morning and get those dug out, get the cement in, just obviously before the end of the day, maybe an hour, maybe by two o'clock. No. Right? If cement is in the holes by two, that'll give it two hours to kind of set up a little bit before the rain. Yeah. And I don't think it's supposed to rain any crazy amount. I think 
under an inch, definitely. Something like that. You know? But the thing is that worries me is that it's saying 20%. You yeah. Know? Yeah. <laughs> it's that 20% and 30% that I don't like. It's true because we'll get those like last week, you know, it says 70% chance of rain. Nothing. Mist. It's just Nothing. like, you know, wet air. But, and I understand and then they're we get just the talking about the percentage of the area. Yeah. Right. See, we're, we are that other. We're the other <laughs> we're the small other. <laughs> 30%, 20%. So when it says that, that's when I start to be like, son of a. Yeah. We should be getting. Son of a biscuit. Slam, dude. Yeah. I don't want it. I don't want it. Please don't tell me it's going to hit. But those clouds are moving quick. Yeah, I was just noticing that. They're moving that. super, super fast. We're at that time of the year and season where the clouds are just really booking it. Yep. Oh. It's, well, it's, this is like the. The nadir season, the storm season, uh, right when the seasons are about to change, right? We go into storm season. So it happens in spring and it also happens in like fall, it mm -hmm. seems, you know. Yeah. So it's going to be, uh, it's going to be crazy, man. I'm, uh, I'm excited. If you guys uh, didn't see our uh, live last night, we did spill some beans. Yeah. Well, I already spilled them a little bit this morning. No, I know, a I little bit. We, we did get some uh, materials, right? Not Todd was over here and we were moving everything around. Yeah. Um, I don't think we've actually even showed you guys uh, Gary's template. No. I don't think we've even showed anybody that. I think uh, Gypsy Trails, Randall was over. Or if it wasn't Randall, then it was Lori. I think. Because we did show somebody just the other day. Yeah, Lori definitely seen it. Yeah. I don't know if Randall's seen it up there. He might have seen the actual, just it, it the on the ground, you know. We've had it for a little while, but we've been in between build, right? So, mm -hmm. anyhow, you want to show them real quick, and then we'll show you guys all of our materials and our, our yeah. load that we had to move. And Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, let's do, do that. that. Let's do that. Let's pick them up. Pick you guys up. All right. All righty. So, that one day that Mel ran off and got the turkeys, I sat up here and was messing around with my template because I needed to finalize my order and make sure before I really placed it, placed it. And I'm glad I did. Because I was thinking I was about to order 12 footers. I was like, oh, that should be good. Come to find out I need like 12 foot three or 12 foot four or whatever. So I had to get 16 footers. <laughs> yeah, they're all inside. So, Just <laughs> we had to haul those in yesterday. <laughs> and I'm happy I did because now that gives me a, you know, a little bit of, extra wiggle room in the sense of if I screw up a, on the angle cut, mm -hmm. I can at least cut it one more time before, you know, I dwindle that board way down to where I can't. But I had to figure out exactly that size. So I had to make the template and try to figure out where it's going to sit, how it's going to sit, all that fun stuff. This was the most trickiest headache part of the whole thing. So explain it to the folks at home. What are we looking at? Like, obviously it's an angle and stuff, but what are all these boards hanging off of it for? So this angle here, right? That's so that way this rafter could be a 312 pitch. The roof is a 512 pitch. And trying to get that angle to math correctly, that was, that was challenging because <laughs> apparently that's not exactly... <laughs> A 512 pitch. Was the math mathing? The math was off a little bit and I didn't realize <laughs> it. And then until the math wasn't mathing, I was like, something's not, something's not right. <laughs> Something ain't right. Because math ain't mathing. Mathing is pretty easy in the sense math should math. All right. <laughs> Unless you're off somewhere and then it's like, yeah, it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna math. All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> that was a nightmare. Um, but right. this is, this is my actual angle that I'm gonna have to have sitting on the roof. And I could have made it even steeper of an angle to accommodate to where it's not sitting on said pieces of wood, right? But see, this is my thought. I'm gonna bring, bring you along with my thought process. <laughs> okay. If this sits straight onto the top of the roof, I would want this to be treated because then this open pore right here of a cut is sitting straight on the face. If water ever does get in between right there, I'd, I'd want it to be protected in some way, some fate, uh, shape and form, right? Mm -hmm. So I would have to get treated. A treated two by six by 16 is, uh, all right. So I said, you know what? 
instead of having to buy 50 of those guys, let me just buy <laughs> nine two by 10 by 12s or whatever and space it out to where it can actually sit and I can put this straight onto it all the way down. And then that way I have treated wood sitting and if water ever gets in between there, it at least is ground contact, uh, ground contacted treated wood and everything. So it shouldn't, you know, rot out or anything else like that. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna stain all the rafters and everything. So that cut will be sealed and everything else like that. And it will make it to where we can set these up pretty easily on that and it should be fully sealed in and everything. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the idea. Now I didn't have just the two by six by 12 sitting around. So I had to splice. Yeah. That's what the other boards are for. <laughs> splice a piece together. The band-aid board. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to bring this up and show you guys now somewhat what I'm talking about. Okay. And I'm going to, I'm going to actually walk the plank really quick so I can give you guys a better visual. You ready? Dun, da, da, dun, dun, dun. I'm getting braver. There we go. Practice makes perfect. Okay, there you go. There you go, guys. Better view. Eh. And in doing so like this, that allows me to come back and cut off this overhang flush with the house. We can fully sheathe, finish up that little sliver piece over here, right? Mm -hmm. And go all the way up and through the rafters, closing it in. So little, little bits here and there. And I, that's the main reason why, you know, I left everything the way it was and I wanted to make sure that, you know, I had enough overhang on everything. The real confusing part is when I go in to put my 45 in and off of that, that's where it's gonna be like, huh? I have to leave myself a little bit more room on the end right there when I cut off this, you know, overhang and everything. So I don't wanna cut off too much and then be like, crap! You can't <laughs> make wood grow, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's gonna be that, I, I think. I think that's that works out pretty good. And that was that's a 12 foot board. And you can see that that does not overhang enough. I want I want it to be at least a 16 inch overhang right here. Yeah, cuz otherwise Yeah. Yeah. That's just going to hit the deck. Yep. And then <laughs> it'd be bad for the deck. Yep. Yeah. So a lot no, of back and forths, a lot plan. of this and that. Very good plan, babe. And then this bow on the girder or anything else like that, we're gonna just, uh, you know, have to ratchet strap one way or the other, straighten it out as we're going down the line and throwing the rafters, rolling the rafters out. And so. It's gonna be exciting. It's coming together pretty good. And you know what guys, when it finally gets to that point, it's gonna change the whole feel. Mm -hmm. I remember when we got, uh, you know, these on for the deck downstairs, just rolling those out, you'd walk outside of the basement and it would just be like, what? And it's how it's gonna feel out here too. We're gonna walk out on this deck, even though like the floor and stuff won't be done, but it'll still feel like, what? Mm -hmm. It'll be awesome. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be really, really nice. It's gonna be super, super nice. Cause as <sighs> soon as we get all the roofing done and everything, I can come back around. I can do all my, you know, final flashing at the bottom of the, house wall area and everything like that do all my trim details of everything that i need so that way we're we'd be fully ready for siding mm -hmm. you know but i don't want to put the siding up until i get the ac ducts in and all the piping done there's a there's a method but to the madness there's a method. going on there there's is. a method well i wanted to bring you guys in really quick i'm gonna pull this thing down before the oh. wind brings it down you know what I knew he was a smart feller. Well, I wanted to show you guys a few things inside here that mm -hmm. uh, we got yesterday. We are using the inside of the cabin as kind of, it's going to be a workstation for the time being and also prep station and storage station. Um, we figure we have this big dried in area. We might as well use it, right? No, exactly. Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna have to definitely set myself up some sawhorses and other stuff because this is going to be 
This is a lot of wood. Yeah. Well, it'll <laughs> kill two birds with one stone because I've been itching for those sawhorses to get off of our concrete deck for a hot minute now. So it just puts another fire <laughs> under our butt to move all that stuff around. But check it out. Yesterday, uh, Gary and myself and not Todd <laughs> were over here and uh, we hauled all this stuff in. Check it out. That's a lot of wood. That is a lot of wood. Man, oh man. These ones are pretty fun. <laughs> yeah. they, they were pretty fun to haul in and getting set up. Now these ones are gonna be for uh, the kicker ends, mm -hmm. the extra long ones, and then these ones are going to be just for the rafters. Yep, I had to get, I had to get some uh, 20 footers because you know, the kicker side. I don't. I don't know exactly how long that's going to be per se. <laughs> I was like, well, let's just go for twenty foot. Everything else that I did for the kicker, I just added another four feet onto it. So yeah, it should be enough. It Whether should be. or not it is going to be enough, we'll find that one out. <laughs> We're gonna need to bring our uh, stain and stuff up here. I think it's still in the truck, huh? Uh, no. No. No, I've got everything up here, actually. You do? I do have it up here. Look at you. I threw it up here. I unload it. Here is your stain. Da, 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 da. Dun, da, da, da. Dark walnut. Should be good. It should be very good. And honestly, this, this stuff is... we're not even really going to see, though, right, babe? No, you're not gonna see this. This is strictly so we can seal it itself, you know, and I wanna get it to be nice and penetrated into it as much as possible before I seal it. I still have to go and get um, some more sealer, um, but that's another thing. That's neither here nor there. I can get that in town in Boondle. Yeah. So Thompson water seal is probably what we're gonna do. Yeah. As soon as everything dries and everything's good, then you know, I'll end up cutting everything out and sealing it like crazy and then set it aside. Yeah. Set it aside, set it aside. So should be pretty good. We got all this wood in here, plus Gary kind of went a little crazy with the zip board, but understandably so, because we have so much work to do. We have to do all the roofing and then all these projects and stuff coming up, but we had to unload all of these from the trailer to you. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot. That was a fun time. That's a full palette. <laughs> it is a full palette. Yeah. Yeah. It was a it was a very busy day yesterday. So yeah, we didn't so we didn't end up digging any holes out here. We're gonna get to work doing that. We're gonna work old pops, mm -hmm. try to fill in some of that. And then if we have any time later today, I think we're gonna come up and um, get some of the staining done and all the prep work that needs to be done for the rafters. And we'll jump back on the yeah. deck portion of our projects. Heck yeah. Yeah. Heck yeah. I want to say that for the house, the roof, playhouse, everything else like that, it was like 120 sheets of zip board that we ended up going through. Yeah. It might have been a little bit more. It's a lot. That's a lot. It's a lot. That's a lot. And that's why I was like, eh. I remember the last two times that I ordered it, I ordered half pallets and <laughs> it was like, it's such a headache with some of the, the material wise and zip board is one of those things that takes a little bit. Mm -hmm. So instead of having to wait forever for me to be able to get some zip board, I just said, eh, let's just buy a pallet. Yeah, just that buy way a whole have pallet. some on stock, I guess. Yeah. But it's all good, man. We got lots of projects working around we here. Do. We didn't get all this material to let it sit around. No, so. and it's, it's gonna be nice because we're gonna be able to get everything rolling pretty quick. And easy. I mean, now that we've got those. Easy. <laughs> hey, the template is made. All right. The That's template. A, Gary, the soup is there. <laughs> the template is the biggest headache right there out of the whole project aspect of back there, I feel like. So. Yeah. The other template has not been made yet, though. The, the kicker <laughs> corner. We're going to get to that one later. We'll get to that one. We're going to just kind of keep working and making progress where we can make progress. And then uh, once we get to the point where we have to bang our head against the walls, then we will. But until then, exactly. let's just keep rolling. <laughs> so with that, friends, we got to get busy on today. I need a second cup of coffee. Um, I should have a video to come out on Simple Life Reclaimed, mm -hmm. hopefully. 
No, it's going to come out. It's going to come out. It is. I don't want to leave you guys hanging. It's going to come out today. So, um, and we got a lot of work we got to get done. And so I got to do stuff in the background. I got to get real talk up. I got to get simple life finished off. I need another cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. Gary's going to need a hand with a shovel. We're going to work old pops. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of back and forth, back yep. and forth. And today. even if the rain comes, as long as it's not time for the kids to be home, we'll be up here working. So we'll be all right. Yeah. We'll be staying. In. We'll be all right. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to run. Love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us and watching today's episode of Real Talk with SLR. Um, we'll see you guys later. So until the next one, we love you all. We hope you have a good one. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye, you guys. Later, later.